Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to do a little review today about um, these sh shoes that I got in the mail. Uh, came from China. I don't care if you like replicas or you don't, but uh, this is just going to be a comparison between these and the real ones. It's a little unboxing video, too. So, first of all, these are the original shoes. These are... Um, Jordan 6 rings. I don't know if you can see that. I got these about two years ago. Um, so, this is the original box. This is the real deal. This is just here for comparison rings. It says Jordan on the side. Uh, the Jordan logo, nothing on this side. Jordan over here. Textured bottom. Nike sticker. And this is what it's like. So the paper comes with like a little design. Once again, this is the real shoe. And these are the six rings. Um, actually, some of the most uncomfortable shoes that I've ever worn. I don't really like them at all. That's why they look so new. I wore them on the basketball court twice. So that shows you how much I do not like how they feel. But I actually bought these because I love the, the Jordan... 11s, the XIs, or they're called the Concords. When I was a kid, I begged my parents for it and just never got it for me. Um, and obviously, they're unaffordable nowadays at a price tag of about 750 bucks. It's just not a good deal. So I got these for about 175 when they came out. Um, look really cool. It reminded me of the Jordan Concords. Uh, you can kind of see the little shiny leather, all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be used as a comparison. These are size 11s. If anyone's interested in picking these up, let me know. I'll entertain any reasonable offer, but I'm not going to be wearing them anymore. And I have worn them twice, so like I said, so Jordan 11 right there. Now this is the unboxing. I've actually just uh, opened this piece right here. I haven't really taken anything out, so um, this is the package that comes in. Uh, came from China. These are replicas. So it's a box of some Chinese writing over there, and um, came in this cardboard box. So these are the Jordan Concords. No. All right. So, got two pairs of these. The outside box looks like this. Got a little size chart here. Jordan logo. Oops. Size eleven. So that's the size 11. They, on here they say white and black. Uh, made in China. They have some model number there. Um, these ones are also made in China. But instead of white and black, it says white slash dark concord black. Uh, size 11. Size 11. So that's one of the differences right there. Alright, so yeah, there's that side to it, the Jordan logo again, it's upside down, not sure, this does not say Jordan, just do not know what that says, so now time to open them up, let's try to, Jordan shirt I got. Alright, the inside box has this X size, the 11s, or I guess it's actually IX, since, which means the 9s, which if you turn around like this, it says Tiker made them shine, Mike made them fly, he made them iconic. So, 
Okay, obviously the 11s, not the 9s. That's a little typo there. Um, no designs for anything here. Nothing on the bottom of the box like there was for the original ones right there. All right, no paper. They look good. They smell like real new Nikes. So here it is. This is the Jordan 11s, the Concords. The shoe that I originally fell in love with. See, it's a little slanted there. That's a 2-3. The Jordan stitching looks a little jaggedy. You can see like little spaces in between the stitch marks. Right there. Um, let's check that out. No logo on the tongue. Looks like there is something here. It says the same thing on the box. I don't know what that is supposed to say. That's the side right there. Inside, let's see. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little Jordan logo in there. So hopefully I can capture the detail. There's a loose thread there, but stuff you can just snip off. Um, the borders of where the colors change actually look pretty good. Like I said, it smells like an actual Nike shoe. It doesn't smell like, you know, some crappy thing. The bottoms look okay. I think they are originally supposed to be blue. I'm not exactly sure. But there's the Jordan logo. This is this design right here. Um, I'm actually kind of impressed. This is decent quality for the price that I paid. And it's a much better deal than getting it for 750 bucks. Also, if you do have the Concords, this is a way that you can, you can rock these and just kind of preserve your Concords for either special occasions or to sell it or, you know, whatever you got to do. So, that is, I can't really quite get the jaggedness of that, but same thing there. This is a little less slanty. A couple of details like that. I will try to show the size, see if there's any size difference. So these are supposed to both be 11s. And there's a little discoloration here because these are two years old. Um, I think that's why it's there. Obviously it's not there from playing an indoor court twice. You can see the whiteness of it. Never washed it or anything, so. These are a little bit heavier, but again, it is a different model shoe, so it's kind of hard to see the size difference here. Size 11s look slightly bigger in the toe, maybe not. If you can really tell, looks pretty good for the size. Um, let's see, there is the shiny part right there. I don't know how clear that's going to show up. It's the shiny part, and here's the shiny part on the real one. So let's see if we can get that together. The back one is the real one. And the front one is the not real one. So a little tiny, tiny difference, but. Not too bad. It goes up there. So that's the difference between the Concord and the six ring fake Concord reel. Now, let's another pair. Just check it out, see what. Oh, also in this comes a little Jordan card with all of his shoes on it. Obviously, you can see the 11s, even though the box says 9, depending on the way it's written. So, so this is the other one. This is a box. Jordan's face. 
Um, Jordan logo. Nothing. It says a portion of the proceeds from the purchase of Jordan products support educational initiatives. I doubt that for these ones. And here it says black red. Um, not sure what it says on the other kinds, but this is what this looks like. So it comes with a little paper. And these look pretty good. Stitching looks really good right here. Little little flaws there, but you could clean that up with some scissors. Um, smells good also. Like a brand new shoe. Feels pretty light. Painting looks or not painting, but uh, the paint looks pretty good. It actually does smell like real leather. That's probably why it smells so good. I like that. So there's the Jordan logo. There's the bottom of the shoe right here. And that's what this one looks like. Again, let's see if there's any. There it is. It's hard to see. So yeah, I don't really have a problem with buying fake shoes. Um, you know, if it's unreasonable, then obviously this is a better way to go. And some people think that if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be able to wear it, but it's not really how people think, you know. I want to wear stuff that they like, so it makes sense to me. This is right there. This is the other one. Stitching is really good. So I'm going to do a little size test here. Let's check these out. They do fit. Uh, they're not laced up like all the way. They're not tight or anything, but they they do feel good. They feel like shoes that I actually could wear. Might not run or hoop in them. Might not run or hoop in them, but you know, for lifting weights or just. Uh, walking around or something like that, I could totally do that and not really worry about ruining them or anything like that because for the price that I paid, I really don't care too much about them. So not a bad deal. I, I would have to say I'm a pretty skeptical guy, but I would have to say that I do recommend these shoes. Um, that's my little review. I got my little bull shorts here. So, you know I'm a Mike fan. Um, that's my review. I, I think that these shoes are worth it. Again, real. This is a replica of the Concords. And a replica of the same shoes in black. I have to say I'm a fan. I might actually, you know, if I find any other... Uh, flaws in these shoes, I might actually repurchase them because they were pretty cheap. Let me know if you uh, like the video, post your comments. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, check these shoes out if you can. Peace.